Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group, and today we're here to look at the brand new Kuri from Otago. So what's it all about? Well, the Kuri is the perfect solution for looking at carbonation or CO2 and bricks in a carbonated beverage. And you're gonna love this product. It's just so cute. I almost wanna hug it. Watch this when I turn this thing on. I, the Japanese, I don't know what they were thinking, but I love it. I don't know what the relevance is of the globe or the light or uh, the party. Uh, I mean, who needs this? But cute. Now you can turn this off uh, after it's actually loaded. Uh, so you don't have to watch this every single time. But it's got lots of lovely little features like Again, who needs it? But you can change the icons to look more attractive for you. And we're gonna go with this one right here. So let's give this thing a spin. There's literally things all over this device. Uh, but at its core, we've got uh, a component that measures CO2 and a component that measures bricks. And, and let's see how this thing actually works. So trying not to show labels, let's load it. Right, so here we go. The first thing to do is to do a leak test. And you can see it's applying pressure into the bottle. You can see all the bubbles have disappeared. Leak test complete. Let's do a measure. So it's good up to about a two liter bottle and it needs about a hundred mil of sample to really take an accurate reading for you. It's got a lithium ion battery in the back of this and it takes about three to four hours to charge. So once it's charged, this IP65 device can go right on the factory floor and you can literally take readings with it without having to have it plugged in. So you can read from about zero to 20 degree, 20% uh, 20 bricks, and it's good for between zero and 24 grams per litre uh, volume of CO2. Operational temperature range of between about zero to about 35 degrees C, and once you get much over that, the lithium ion battery in the back doesn't really like operating. It's very sensitive once you get above 55 degrees C, and it will switch off. And there you go. So as you can see here, we've got about 11.01% bricks, 2.585 volume of CO2, and a pressure of about 228 kilopascals. Now, if that doesn't mean anything to you, you can go right here and you can change your scales. So if we come here and we edit that, we can choose, we can change from volume to kilograms per centimeter cubed or to grams per liter from kilopascals to bar, which I personally prefer, or millibar, which is possibly even better. Hit enter, and it will convert it for you that way. So 2,278 millibar. Atmospheric pressure is about 1,014. So I really, like, I really like it displayed for me in that format. Now, changing it is a little tricky, and you wanna be careful that you don't wanna break this delicate sensor right here. Now I just need to undo that, bring that up, out, and away we go. Release that. And take that up out of the product. So after you finish taking your measurements, you should clean the measurement cells out with demineralized water. You can also zero or calibrate the, re the refractometer component with water. 
Let's clean it out now and just see how it does. And you can see the measurement cells here are all rinsing. That's the ultra cute and cuddly, the Kuri CO2 and Brix monitor from Otago. Don't forget to like our channel, and if you have any questions, please ask them below. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.